so the important thing in this role play was not just this, you know, the little conversation that you were having here, because I know it's not real, okay? It's for you to step back and say, I have conversations like this with people. Do I stop and say, what are my goals? This is an important part of conflict management. Stop, you're angry, you're upset, the situation happened in a way that you didn't want it to happen. Don't act until you had a chance to pull back and strategize. The most important thing is the outcome. What is the outcome that you want? We're trying to save this employee. How, what do we need to do? We're trying to get the work done on Monday. What are my goals? What are the outcomes I'm looking for? Okay, how then do I need to approach the employee? What do I need to say? Put a plan together. You don't have to put an elaborate plan, but spend five, 10 minutes before you go talk to them to make sure you have clear in your mind what you're trying to do. Otherwise, you're likely to be in the middle of a reaction and you just, it just happens and it's a, it's a terrible meeting and it's too late to take it back. You've created all this dissonance, and then you can rationalize your behavior because you're the boss and you had to do it, but you're not, you were wrong in what you did. And that's how the, pre so, so, so I use this apple core as a symbol of dissonance, okay? And the pearl is a symbol of resonance. It's the positive thing creating value. This is just the opposite. It just keeps rotting and rotting. So a negative situation happens, like somebody having an outburst in front of other people, you will have a negative reaction. You are filled with dissonance at that point. If you saw the briefing sheet for the manager, it said you were shaking with rage, you were so mad, okay? That's it, you're having this. So you, it brings some, some awareness to what's going on. You're upset, you were embarrassed, okay, get over it. Start focusing on the outcome that you're looking for, given the fact that this has already happened. You can't change history, we're gonna change the future though. So now you have to convert your reaction into a response. You stop, you don't act out on your reaction, you determine the desired outcome, and then you do what you need to do to bring about the desired outcome. That's your practice. And you make sure you're listening to your tone of voice and your body language and all those subtle things because that's speaking loudly and you're either building or losing trust and respect throughout this entire conversation. And, and if you make a mistake, fine, okay? but step back and recognize that you made a mistake and don't keep making the same one over and over again. Realize that, what could I have done differently? When I said this, she had this reaction and I never was able to bring the conversation back after that. It was going pretty well up to that point. Well, what could I have done differently? Okay, keep that in mind. 